Hello and welcome to SAS Guru. In this video, we will learn how to create a 30-day trial org of Data Cloud. We will also explore the Data Cloud in the new org, perform basic verifications, and provide the necessary access via permission sets. In order to create a Data Cloud trial, first go to developer.salesforce.com, click on Browse Trials on the top right, click on Browse All Trails. Here, you will see the tabs View All, Product Trials, and Industry-Based Trials. We are going to look at industry-based trial orgs. Scroll down to Loyalty Management Free Trials, which come with the Data Cloud features. You will have two options. Click Compare Two Trial Options. On this page, select Loyalty Management Free Trial Learning Org. Click on the Sign Up button. It will open a new tab where you must fill out a form with details such as first name, last name, job title, email, etc. Agree to the service contract and click on Start My Free Trial. It will start the process of securing a free trial for you for 30 days. You also will receive a notification on the email address provided with instructions on activating the org. After creating the org, it is crucial to verify the successful setup of the data cloud. To check this, click the gear icon at the top right and then click on Data Cloud Setup to open a new tab. Please note that this setup is different from the regular setup, so the orgs that have Data Cloud installed will have two setups, a regular setup and Data Cloud Setup. We are checking the Data Cloud Setup. You will see that the Data Cloud is ready to use. Once the org is created, change the data model as suggested. Before we start injecting this CRM data into the data cloud, you have to provide access to a specific permission set, which is the Salesforce Data Cloud Connector permission set for the required objects and their respective fields. So for that, we will go to Setup. Search for Permission Sets. We'll look for the Salesforce Data Cloud Connector permission set. Next, click on Object Settings. Here, look for the Contact Object. View all access is needed and access for all the required fields. So let us edit this to give red access to all the fields of the contact object. View all access is needed so that all the records are accessible to this permission set. Save and do the same for the remaining objects. Now, let's do that for the contact identifier. Let's give view all permission to this object and read access to all the fields. Save it. Next, will be Parking Spaces. Enable View All Access and Read Access to All Fields. Save it. Next, is the Parking Reservations. Enable View All Access and Read Access here as well. Then, click on Save. Finally, access the case object and its fields. Read All and Read Access to All the Fields. Let us save it. This will ensure that once the CRM data is injected into the data cloud, all the required fields and objects are accessible to the data cloud to pull in this information.